Hi guys, my name is Joga of Mint Andrea in Vienna. Welcome to this new video. So today on my table I want to talk about the Zeiss Econ Contax rangefinder cameras and I've brought three cameras today with me and I like it to compare. So um, first of all the, the Zeiss Econ was uh, a rangefinder camera, a new attempt and introduced in 1932 and in total there were about seven versions made of the first type in the black paint finish where collectors divide them into seven versions. The first one is a Contax one in, in a black paint finish which is in beautiful condition. The cameras were at the time the biggest competitor to the Leica or lights uh, factory uh, and there were some uh, major differences uh, not only the lenses from Carl Zeiss were at the days considered to be a tech sharper or a bit better than the light competitors but one improved after another and lenses and cameras got better and better so people still fight over that and I, I couldn't decide which ones are better um, Anyway, the major differences I would like to show you, just let us put these two aside for the moment. We have a Leica 2 made in 1932 as well as a Contax. Here is now a Type 7 made roughly around 1935-36. Uh, nonetheless, uh, the major characteristics didn't change, so the biggest uh, difference right here is for me a collapsible lens on the Leica camera at the lights Hector here uh, with an aperture of uh, f2.5 and a rigid sonar type f2 5 centimeters. The Contax has a bayonet mount lock which allowed the lens to be changed much faster than the screw mount on the Leica camera which was a major improvement at the time. Uh, the Leica is a bit more compact in size especially when the lens is collapsed and the next thing I would say is a major improvement over a Leica is that the back of the contacts can be detached and it is uh, sliding off from the camera and you have uh, perfect access to, to the film while on the Leica it's still a bit fiddling around where you need to include uh, the film in the small uh, slit here so that's for me a major improvement the Contax has a vertical running metal shutter while the Leica has a horizontally running cloth shutter. At its time uh, the Contax was ahead with that metal shutter but today these are very faulty, extremely hard to repair. I would still say like a shutter is is better and the camera itself is better as well so it's it's a, lo a longer lasting product i would say another difference right now is the later versions of the early contacts like this one is they have slow speeds already which were introduced around 1934 i would say and also the leica 3 which i'll show you very quickly has uh, the slow speed dial the Contax one was more expensive um, than the Leica. Zeiss Econ decided to make a, a cheaper alternative. So there was the, the Super Nettle introduced, which had a built in lens which could not be uh, interchanged with another lens, and therefore they made that flap closure here so it could be 
super small, could be stored very easily. Uh, the shutter inside is practically the same, just a different system, a smaller system, but it was uh, sold at a, at a lower price point at its time. Also a very nice camera. Next to the Contox 1 now is a Contox 2 introduced in 1936, which replaced uh, the Contox 1 camera. Almost similar features. The lens uh, is here now a collapsible f2 5 cm lens, while well, here is still a rigid version. The camera got a synchronization but from a third party company. And there was also a Context 3, which is the same as a Context 2 practically, but with a built in exposure meter, which is like this Context. 3A here, uh, but this camera was made in 1951-52 and was made by Zeiss Icon in Stuttgart, while the very first uh, Zeiss Icon cameras have been made in East Germany in Dresden. Currently all of these cameras are in stock, so if you should be interested, um, let us know. If you should have any questions, write in the comments, send us an email give us a call, uh, reach out. We frequently have them in stock, usually fully serviced and ready to go. Uh, if you ask me if you want to shoot something, go with a post-war contacts. They are easy to use and, and quite reliable, I would say. It's, it's, it's a fun, fun camera to use, especially with a built-in exposure meter. Um, yeah, if you like that video, please share it, like it, subscribe to our channel if you're not a subscriber right now. And as usual, stay healthy. Bye.